everyone welcome back to Danielle's Decor well today is just gonna be kind of a quick little short video I was playing around uh, some of you watched the video where I met up with Dee from Dee's Feather Cottage and we got to do some shopping had a great time well uh, about a week later she sent me this cloche and she knew I didn't have one because we were looking um, at them at the store so she sent me this right here and I had some Easter stuff in it but I went ahead and pulled that out. I wanted to do something different. And y'all, this little thing, I absolutely love it. So I've got so many ideas of different little things I wanna put in there and try with it. And over the weekend, <laughs> a funny story for you guys. <laughs> over the weekend, I went with my mom to a flea market and we were just kind of running around shopping. And I seen all these old vintage uh, spices and things like that. They wanted like seven to ten dollars for these little tiny things of spices. And I was like, how cute would a grouping of those be inside my little cloche that Dee bought me? And she was like, save your money, Danielle. She said, we'll go to grandma's when we leave here. Well, I was up in Poplar Bluff. She said, we'll go to your grandma's when we leave here. And we can go through her cupboards. I guarantee you she's got some old spices at the back of her cupboard. Y'all, my grandma keeps everything. Everything. It's it, it's still good, just it'll be okay. You always check the dates on stuff at my grandma's house. So I get over there and I'm like, Grandma, do you have any of the old spices in the little metal cans? And she said, yeah, at the back of the cupboard I do. She said, get up there and you can pull some of them down. So I got going through and I found a couple that I want to use and I brought them home and kind of cleaned them up and I got looking at the dates on some of these. Oh my gosh. And one of them, she was like, don't take that. I still use it. I said, grandma, if you still use that, don't. <laughs> I will buy you a new one. Please don't put that in your food. <laughs> she's, my grandma is a mess. I love her to death, but she's very, you know, It'll be okay. It's still good. You use it till it's gone. <laughs> One of the things that she was fighting me over was her vanilla. Y'all check this out. Imitation vanilla, butter, and nut flavor. Okay. This right here. Don't take my vanilla. I still use that in some of my things. I said, I will buy you another one. Do not put this in your food. I flipped it over and got looking at the date. I don't know if it'll focus on it. I don't know if you guys, if it'll grab it or not. My phone stays blurry. Right down here at the very bottom, 1978. This thing is 40 years old. <laughs> I was born in 78. This is older than me. <laughs> so anyway, I ended up taking this one and I just, I love the box that it's in. And then the old bottle like that. I thought that was really, really cute. She had a few that some of them I couldn't find the dates on, but the ones that I did, I got tickled. I did get this one like this, and it's the French's mustard, like that. And let me see if it'll focus on that one. This one is October of 1977. <laughs> this one is 41 years old, and I haven't opened them up. Because quite frankly, I'm afraid to see what they smell like or <laughs> what they look like inside. But I thought that they were really cute to kind of, you know, play around. Still cannot believe that. October 77. My grandma is a mess, you guys. I did steal her flavor season all. <laughs> her flavor all seasoning, I guess. This one does not have a date on it either. But I have that one like that. This one... Just scream the 70s and 80s <laughs> like that. It's popcorn salt. So I like the colors in this one. That's why I grabbed it. And let me see what other ones we got. We have a Kroger Bay Leaves like that in the metal thing. And I don't know how old this one. This one's probably from the 80s, I'm guessing. But it says 25 cents on the bottom. So, you know, for a quarter... It's got to be really old. <laughs> but And I did take her ground nutmeg. This one doesn't have a date on it either. It's the little IGA brand. And I think our IGA went out of business well over 10 years ago. So it's been a long time since we've had an IGA around here. And then these are little 
bouillon cubes, if I can say it right. So I thought they were cute with the little cow on them. These don't have a date on them either, but it does have a price on the top. Oops. Oh, I almost dropped it. It's that way. It says 79 cents for some bouillon cubes. <laughs> you know, she just, she kills me. She hangs on to everything. But, and here's a little jar of cloves. This didn't have a date on it either. It's got the little metal lid. So I don't know how old that is. But I thought they would be fun to put together in a little display for my kitchen area. So we're gonna get to work on that. But I just had to share that with you guys. So if you wanna do this, <laughs> right in grandma's cupboard. <laughs> but if you have a grandmother like me, <laughs> or a mother who keeps everything, then get to the back of the cupboard where all the goodies are and pull out the old stuff. So I'm gonna point you guys down here and we're gonna get to working on this little cloche. Be right back. So here's my little base. And I've already cleaned it up with my glass cleaner. But I cut a little piece of styrofoam because the I wanted to use this little gourmet thing, but I wanted to lift it up from the other ones. I hope you guys can kind of see this. I'm going to build it towards you if I can so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with that one, and then I want my little... Actually, I was going to lay that one kind of on its side and set that one on top like that if I can and get it to where it will look right next to each other and I got to make sure that I stay inside this little lip so that my thing will go back on it like that and then over here I wanted to take this one I wanted to set these two just kind of like that and then I just wanted to do my cloves in the front so that is all I want to put for the spices but then I just cut a couple pieces of greenery off of a little pick that I had so and they kind of remind me of herbs a little bit so I wanted to just kind of shove a couple of these in here just to give it a little bit of something. Just a little touch of greenery in there. Might take a little kind of playing get it exactly how you want it. But I think that's all I'm going to do. Let me see if I can lift this up without my stuff falling inside of it. So that you guys can kind of have a closer look. Look how cute. Just a couple of the old spices. A little bit of greenery. So simple. And I just love it. I love the vintage type things anyway. So this to me was just awesome to find these in her cupboard. <laughs> Gotta love reading grandma's cupboards. <laughs> now it's gonna sit on the counter, you know, so you won't see the back where the styrofoam is. Cause it's gonna set up against the, the backsplash on the kitchen counter. So I don't have to worry about covering that. If you did see it all the way around, you would wanna use something that, uh, you know, looked right in there or something that you could kind of hide. But that is all I have. My cute little vintage grandma's spices. <laughs> Y'all, I just, I got so tickled laughing at her. And this, I was like, grandma, I will buy you all new spices. She said, you're taking all my spices. I said, I will buy you all brand new ones. Please do not eat these, <laughs> they're 40 years old. Oh, it'll be okay. They're still good. No, grandma, they're not. <laughs> I told my mom, I said, she's trying to kill us with her food. <laughs> not really. My grandma's a sweetheart, but yeah, she does hang on to everything, as you can tell. <laughs> and
anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. It's just a quick, small little video. I'm not really doing a whole lot of decorating right now. I finished my Easter, and I'm kind of waiting until after Easter to kind of start changing things out. So, I really don't have a whole lot going on, but I did want to share that with you and kind of share the little story. I thought it was really kind of funny. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Bye.